Okay, this is video number five of the Blizz AVS tutorial. I want you to open up your program, open up the user manual, and open up a uh, search engine window. Okay, so we're going to add a weapon today. I'll show you how to do that. Um, also open up your configuration uh, program, which is located inside your folder with your program. Um, that'd be this one right here. This is the program folder. That'd be this one right here. And once you open that up, go to File, Open, and open up your configuration settings, the .sbc. That way when we make changes, they will be saved. So let's find a weapon to use. Um, go to Google, type in Blizz ABS weapons and see if uh, any sprites show up. Uh, first link, click on that. And uh, right here is a link to a post uh, where this user dweller has created um, some weapons. If you click on the spoiler tag, you can see some weapons to use. Um, you should contact him and get his permission before he uses uh, sprites. Um, if you scroll down, there are some other weapons um, throughout these posts. Um, here are some I put up there. I like this sword here, so I right click, uh, copy image, uh, sorry, save image as. Go to your picture folder, go to a uh, new folder, this be uh, my project, I guess. And uh, we'll just save this as sword for now until I show you how to name it correctly. Save. Great, okay, so now uh, we're going to open up the manual and we'll get into how to name. If you go to section 5.1, sprite reference, and 5.1.2 of that is weapon sprites. It talks about the different ways you can control animations for sprites, and it's saying that if you do use uh, if you, I'll show you how to turn it, turn this on in the configuration program. But if you do want to use uh, different weapon sprites for each weapon, um, this is the naming format. And since we're using fighter sprite set for our our main hero, it's going to be uh, uh, the fighter sprite name, which is 001 fighter dash zero one underscore weapon underscore the item ID number for the weapon. Um, so if we go to our database, uh, bring up your uh, game program, go to tools, database, weapons, uh, let's say the bronze sword, that's item ID number one. So I'll show you how we're going to name this file and import it. Go to your pictures, go to your my project. We're going to rename this. Zero zero one dash fighter zero one. Zero zero one dash fighter. underscore WNPN underscore one. There we go. Let's see if that matches. We have the name of the sprite underscore WPN underscore one because it's the first uh, weapon in the database. Great. We'll go to the character folder and import that sprite that has been renamed. Oh, let's see. Picture. This is 
it 001-Fighter01 underscore weapon underscore so we import that there it is and uh, our next step is to change the script to reflect that we want to use weapon animation so go to your configuration program make sure that your configuration settings uh, .svc file is open go to um, animation sprite control actor animation sprites actor weapon sprites file save tools generate configuration script click copy to clipboard almost done here go back to your program go to tools script editor uh, the first script hit control A to select all control V to paste apply OK and let's test it out and uh, you're going to need to make a sprite for every single weapon Okay, and there it goes we have added a sword to the game thanks for watching bye